I know that I have said that we will not work on the delete part, but I think that makes some um, new uh, some 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 one part of explain you how it work is better. So now for make this, let's go to manage brand and let's go let's go to backend and on the fetch brand for file. And you remember I have put some comment on the delete button. So remove a comment and go to front end when we have a brand and the table where we have a table let's see it let's see table here let's just change here let's see that here is edit and bottom here is delete it's something too easy it's for this reason that i have said that i will not you i will not do it and we will get best two button one for edit one for delete and this thing that you want to make is same that the mv update you want to when we click on this delete you want to delete only this this specific row so on the fetch brand i have added a class of delete to the delete button so we need to make exactly the same thing as for that we use for the update so let's say that we will just duplicate the update click function and now for this second time it's not update and it's a delete button that we call and now bottom here let's say now manage print the operation was will will not be a fetch single it will be delete single and when we are on the success when we are on the success we want just to we don't want to display some model we want just to display the show alert function <coughs> and the title will be Let's see that a title and the text will be I don't know how I can say is that let's say that a text the icon will be hero and the confirm button this will be let's say it will be brand deleted <coughs> close okay and still for the title let's say that brand deleted and for the test let's say we want to brand deleted success fully and now we need to go on to manage brand on in the backend folder and create a new condition for the if let's say that if the current operation is equal to delete single the thing that you want to get is to make a specific query And you want to delete all from brands where ID will be equal to something like, and let's say you want to query and you want to execute this one to the array. And if you remember in the edit mode, in the edit bar, we get the specific ID in the dollar post brand id and that says our output will be equal to an array and this time it will be only a success that i will pass to true because i don't need i don't really need to send something to our front end <coughs> now close this one save all the project refresh 
and now let's click on grass car one and why this one don't work in again and here is not boss id i think and just come back here is change this one by brand id and now now no, let's refresh close this and click and here we send with a button and here we send the brand id instead of is not brand dash id is simply brand id and here before going let's say that it's not delete all is delete from brand where id will be equal to id and refresh and now if we click on raska one we have brand deleted and we are brand deleted close and if it refresh now we are raska one will go out of the list so before before we let's say after we alert when we are in success mode we want to refresh the data table let's say this is brand and it's reload and it's not this it's just brand data table that I just doc reloads and let's say that now we want to delete autos and if, if I click autos and close and you see that the data table already refresh so it's this thing that is with delete you can implement with delete like this but I think that we we don't need it on the brand table because if we save a wrong brand we can simply update it and edit the name of the brand so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe